Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to a Lord of the Rings LCG deck showcase video. And this time I am going through a deck that I have been playing a lot lately. It is a Strider deck. So this deck was inspired by Metastrophic and uh, the original deck name was something like the choice of Luthien but I have uh, renamed it as uh, the Strider deck. Uh, I will show off the deck list in a moment, but first off, uh, just quickly uh, going through what I'm going to do in this video. I will go through the deck list, then I will play the Oath scenario, because that's a decent uh, scenario to showcase a deck with. And uh, maybe if I feel like it, I will do the second uh, scenario or the quest from the Dark of Mirkwood um, expansion, which has two um, intertwining quests in it. And uh, well, uh, there's nothing more to say but to go through the deck list. So we'll hop over to ringsdb.com and I'll show you what the deck is all about. Okay, and we are over on RingsDB, and uh, this is my the Strider deck. This is basically the same deck that I, the same deck list I got from Metastrophic, and uh, there are a couple of card changes I did to the deck. And uh, this is because I don't have the complete card pool at hand. I have actually had to proxy the Gandalfs for this deck and uh, some of the cards are in German, but I'll go through what they do uh, in this uh, deck overview. So, uh, we have uh, as heroes uh, Lore Aragorn. So, uh, this is because uh, Aragorn is a really, really good um, hero for this, this deck, because you can, if your threat is getting out of hand, uh, you can just lower it back to your starting threat. Uh, then, of course, we have one of the strongest spirit um, heroes that combos with uh, Aragorn really well. We have Arven, and uh, well, uh, we can just um, get card draw with her, we can get resources for Aragorn or Arven with her, etc., and access to the spirit card pool. Uh, the last hero I have is my own addition to the deck uh, with some suggestions from Metastrophic. So we have Falco Buffin. Uh, Falco uh, is here just so I get an extra lore resource at the start of the scenario uh, or the quest so that I can uh, have economy for the cards I need to play fast onto the table. Uh, we probably, as soon as we get Strider uh, card into play, we will disc uh, discard uh, Folko to lower our threat by 7. Because we only need two heroes for this uh, deck to function. We can, uh, this deck functions well without Folko. Uh, I have been playing the Saga with Hobbits and this deck and it works re re really well even without Folko. Then uh, we have only 10 ally cards in the deck. We have three copies of Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf is a really good ally for this deck because um, Gandalf doesn't exhaust quests. So we have good questing power and also Gandalf is really strong at defending or fighting. So we have uh, that going for us. Uh, Kandalf is a bit costly but and, and raises your threat by a lot, but we have uh, tools to mitigate that. And um, yeah, we will want to see Gandalf as fast as possible also. And um, then we have uh, Spirit Glorfindel. The same thing, uh, he is a bit costly, but really strong hero. And we can even play him from our discard, which is really good. If uh, he gets discarded by some means, uh, we still can play him from the discard. Uh, then for healing, we have Eoret. And Eoret can heal a lot of damage. And we have uh, usually plenty of uh, lore resources to use for Eoret to keep Aragorn and... Uh, Gandalf etc. healthy. 
throughout the quest. Then lastly we have three copies of the Ranger of Cardolan and this is also really good for this deck because uh, mainly I could just uh, play this um, ally when we engage an enemy. Uh, then uh, the ranger comes into play, helps us to deal with the enemy and then goes back into our deck and uh, we can draw him again and play him again. Um, and now I will jump straight to the uh, title card of the deck, so to speak, uh, which is Strider. We really want to see Strider early on in the scenario or the uh, quest. Uh, what Strider does is that uh, it basically turns um, Aragorn into a plus two willpower hero and all, uh, if we only have five or fewer characters in play and if we have only two or fewer heroes he doesn't uh, exhaust the quest. So then we have two really good questers that do not exhaust the quest. Then uh, we also have Light of Valinor in the deck three times so that also Arwen doesn't exhaust the quest which is really really strong. Then uh, what other cards are really important? Well I have three copies of Elfstone. This will help us to get uh, Gandalf and Glorfindel into play much much cheaper and uh, forest snares for those enemies we need to prepare more to deal with uh, or that we just want to engage and ignore for the rest of the quest. Then a burning brand is really good because then you are much safer defending with uh, for example Aragorn, because you don't have to worry about the shadow cards. Dunedain Pipe, one copy only, so if we get this early we can cycle cards we don't need right that moment in, uh, at, to the bottom of our deck and draw more cards. Lembas uh, for healing and reading, so this is a really good uh, card. When you defend with Aragorn you want to heal, heal him and ready him and uh, fight with him. Uh, Protector of Lorien's of course are really strong in this because there is a lot of uh, card discard. And uh, one copy of Silver Harp for Arwen, so if we discard a card we can just uh, exhaust the Silver Harp. Unexpected Courages are always good, so we can do more with the fewer characters we have. And uh, of course uh, one note is that we have a magic ring in the deck. This is that. Uh, we have a way to ready um, Aragorn or heal Aragorn or draw cards. So it will raise our threat but we have a really strong ability on Aragorn to lower our threat. On the events, uh, very staple events, so we have three copies of a test of will for uh, a treachery cancellation. Then we have a Darnorns runes which will help us dig for the cards we need, Elrond's Council to lower our threat and boost our willpower when we need to. And uh, of course with Arwen you will always want to play three copies of Elven Light, so that is your main card draw engine there. Uh, then a more specific card for dealing with locations. Uh, we can use Hairs of Erendil to uh, discard um, locations from uh, the staging area. If we get a really high uh, threat location, then we can just get rid of it with this and raise our um, doom by the amount of threat it causes. But again, we have a ways to uh, get the threat back down. And uh, I have two copies of Tale of Tinvel for those situations that we really need to buff Aragorn's uh, defense attack and willpower up for some reason. So that, these are really good with Arwen. So that is basically the deck and uh, nothing else to say but hop back over to the quest. So we are set up here and ready to start so without further delay let's get started. 
Okay, and we have set up here, so we'll draw our opening hand and see if we need to mulligan. So I'm giving a one more shuffle to our deck. And uh, again, uh, we want to see Strider as fast as possible. If we don't, I uh, still can manage for some time without it, but uh, uh, we will really need to start digging for it. We'll see. So let's draw our opening hand. And we have uh, Elven Light, Elrond's Council, Strider, so that's great. A Test of Will, that's awesome, and Forest Nair and Lembas. I'm going to keep this hand, no thought about it. Uh, Elven Light is the second card I really want to see in my opening hand. So I will start with this hand and one mulligan. So first off, we will. Uh, well, we basically add the resources now and draw a card. When we start, we get the magic ring. That's great also. Um, I think uh, first thing is I'll use one resource from Foloko, Buffin, to play Strider on Aragorn. Now, uh, we have uh, three heroes, so Aragorn will exhaust the quest, but that is okay. Oh yeah, we need to re uh, resolve this. So set up. Uh, we have set up the Eaves of Mirkwood location into the uh, staging area, and uh, it re it has two uh, threat on it and two quest points. While the Eaves of Mirkwood is the active location, encounter card effects cannot be cancelled. So we need to be mindful of that. Then we have set up the Goblin Druid aside out of play over here. And we'll flip this over. We need uh, nine progress on the quest to advance, but we really don't want to rush uh, anything. We want to set up on this stage and after that just plow through the rest of the quest. So we still have resources, so I will discard Elven Light to gain a resource with Arwen. And uh, Let's see, we probably want to play the magic ring. And uh, so I'm playing the magic ring using resources from Aragorn and Arwen. I'm saving the one uh, resource on Arwen for the test of will if we get a nasty treachery right at the get go. And that is our planning phase done. We'll go to quest phase, so I will be questing, so a reminder, the magic ring reads, exhaust magic ring and raise your threat by one, choose one, heal one damage from attached hero, add one resource to attached hero's pool, already attached hero. So I misremember, we can't draw cards with that, but we can get resources and uh, uh, other good stuff. So we are questing with Arwen, Aragorn and Folko, and this is because we can ready Aragorn if we need to. Uh, we are questing... Uh, Aragorn has a plus two, so four, seven, nine against two. So we're going to make some progress pro uh, probably here. So we are against two, and the first encounter card is Goblin Scavenger. So uh, when revealed, discard the, top uh, discard the top card of each player's deck until the end of the phase. Increase Goblin Town Scavenger's threat by the total printed cost of all cards discarded this way. So we discard uh, a Burning Brand, which is a shame. We really would have wanted to get that card. So that goes into our discard. And it is two, so uh, this is three, so five. Uh, we make uh, four progress on the quest. Which is maybe a bit too much. So uh, that enemy will engage us. But I think I'll just uh, exhaust the magic ring, raise our threat by one. 
and ready Aragorn. So uh, we'll go to the um, uh, combat phase, so we'll engage this. Uh, oh yeah, we will travel here and we'll engage this. And uh, then I will take this attack undefended. So one plus, if this attack is undefended, discard an ally you control. Well, we don't have any allies, so that is okay. Then um, Aragorn will just hit and defeat this enemy. And that is that. So uh, we'll go to repress phase. We ready. We raise our threat by one. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw uh, another test of wheel. Well, that's okay. And I will use the resource on uh, Folko to play Lembas on Aragorn. Then uh, we will play Elven Light from our discard. Draw a card, Unexpected Courage. And we will discard Elven Light. We'll play Unexpected Courage on Aragorn. And uh, I really don't think we need Falco. So we are going to quest with him. Or we could just uh, discard Falco. Yeah, so we'll discard Falco. So Falco is discarded and not in, in play anymore. We lower our threat by 7 down to 23. And uh, we'll go to quest phase. Uh, we are questing with only Aragorn. And well, we, we can quest with Arwen and Aragorn. So we are five versus, uh, I mean, Aragorn is four. So we're actually not going to quest with Arwen. This is because we don't want to advance this yet. We just want to try and clear this one. So we will uh, quest with Aragorn four versus zero. And we get a surprising speed. When revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged with them to the staging area. If no enemy was returned, uh, this can search and doomed one. So it searches, we get one threat added to the dial, and it searches into wild walks. Two threat and two combat and one defense and three. So wild walks uh, forced after wild walks engages you. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is a goblin enemy, put it into play. Engage with you. Okay, this actually could be nasty, but uh, at least we will uh, quest successfully. So we will quest for two. So that's enough to get through the eaves of Merkwood. And I'm not actually going to engage this enemy at the moment because we don't want to get overrun by enemies. So we'll just let, leave that there to the staging area and just go to refresh phase. So we'll... Uh, actually, I'm going to exhaust the magic ring to gain one resource. And that is our turn. We ready up. We raise our threat by one. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We'll gain the resources and a card Glorfindel. That's uh, awesome. I'm probably going to play Glorfindel. So, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I played the... Oh yeah, I discarded it. Okay, so I'm going to raise my threat by one. So Aragorn gains one resource. And... Uh, We'll play 
11 light, we draw dry orange runes, that's great. We'll discard elven light to gain a resource. I think I messed this up. No. Yeah, we took the magic ring. So we are spending five resources to put Glorfindel into play. And uh, we'll use the Dardanus runes to draw two cards and we don't need two forest nairs so I'm going to discard one of those. So we'll keep the protector of Lorien. And uh, I think that's the planning phase done. I'm just going to put the Elven Light next like so because I will be cycling that all, all game along. Uh, we'll go to the quest phase. We will quest with Aragorn and we are four against two so I think I will quest with uh, Glorfindel seven versus two so let's count five if we get zero uh, we are at four so five would actually advance us well uh, that's a risk we'll have to take yeah, I'm, I'm not taking that risk. Uh, so we'll quest. Uh, so the treasure is uh, four spider then. That's uh, we should have quested, but it's too late now. So uh, quest action. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and add it to the uh, add it to play engage with you to discard spider then. Then shuffle the encounter deck. Any player may trigger this effect. So we could actually deal with a spider right about now. So we are uh, four versus six, which is uh, that we raise our threat by two, which is okay. And we'll do the quest, oh yeah, we could do the quest action before we resolve it. So I'm actually doing that. So we'll uh, lower our threat, we'll discard this and we will search for a spider enemy. So which is okay, while well, engaged with you, Spider of Mercury gets plus one for each exhausted character you control. So it's a uh, three. That's not bad. I, we could deal with that, but let's see what our options are. Uh, great Spider, after Great Spider engages you, exhaust the character you control. That's uh, okay also. Okay. Hmm. We'll take the Great Spider. We shuffle out the encounter deck. Then we'll engage the spider and we have to exhaust the character we control and we will choose uh, Glorfindel. Then uh, we won't engage the work yet, we don't need to. But uh, let's count, um, we made two progress before anything else happened. Okay, then We'll go to the combat phase, we deal a shadow card uh, to the giant spider. Uh, I will defend with Aragorn. And uh, yeah. let's see. Yeah, so three plus nothing, so Aragorn takes one damage. We'll use the unexpected courage to ready Aragorn and we will discard one of the test of wheels to ready Glorfindel and we'll attack with Glorfindel and Aragorn to defeat this spider. And that is everything, we'll go to the refresh phase, uh, we ready up, raise our threat. I am actually have been forgetting to raise the threat so I'll raise it a couple of times, so we are at 29 threat now. I think. 
and uh, yeah that is everything so that is that round let's go to the next round we add resources and draw a card Yoret, uh, we'll just play Yoret. Then I will play Elven Light from my discard. I will draw Silver Harp. That's good. We will discard uh, Elven Light to draw a card. Uh, not not uh, gain a resource, I mean. And we will play Protector of Lorien onto Aragorn. And uh, I think we want to lower our threat a bit because this would engage us. Okay. And uh, will boost um, Aragorn's willpower. So we are questing only with Aragorn. And uh, the card is Obsidian Arrows. Deal 2 damage to a character you control. We'll pick Aragorn. Next round we can heal with Irat. Uh, not worth cancelling that. Okay, well, uh, this will be a ri bit risky, but we will... Okay, let's see. Did we advance? So we were... Uh, We were at uh, 5 versus 2, so we made 3 progress, so we'll actually advance. So let's see if we do anything about this, this guy now. So, Mirkwood Forest. Uh, so, nothing but flavor text there. 12 progress. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a forest location and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. This stage cannot be defeated unless at least one copy of Goblin Trail is in the victory display. Okay, uh, I think we'll just pick the Coplin Trail then. And we'll shuffle. Then uh, we'll travel here and uh, travel is reveal the top card of the encounter deck to travel here. Response when Goblin Trail leaves play as an explorer occasion, play six progress on the current quest. So we get uh, Abandoned Camp. Uh, so response after the players travel to Abandoned Camp, the first player discards the top card of their deck. If that card is an ally, put it into play under their control travel, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is an enemy, add it to the staging area. Okay. So we will risk engaging the uh, wild walks and uh, forced after a wild walks engages you discard the top card of the encounter deck if that card is a goblin enemy put it into play engage with you. Uh, it is a spider den so not a goblin so we'll just discard it. Okay uh, we will be defending with Aragorn Shadow card, it is uh, no shadow effect, so we don't take any damage. We'll ready and we'll just use these two to kill it. And uh, we'll go to the refresh phase. And uh, that is that, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources, we draw a card another Elven Light. Uh, so I'm actually discarding this Elven Light to gain one more resource. Actually, no. I will play the Silver Harp first. Then I'm discarding that uh, and exhausting the Silver Harp to gain a resource. Uh, these should be ready. We'll use one resource from Aragorn and Exile Ira to heal Aragorn. And uh, 
we'll go questing. So I will quest with these two. Again, we don't have to rush anything here. We just want to clear this and get maybe travel here. So yeah, we'll do this. So encounter card is uh, driven by shadow. When reveal each enemy and each location currently in, in the staging area gets plus one on, uh, threat until the end of the phase. If there are no cards in the staging area, driven by shadow against search. So this is now a tree, so that's okay. We don't need to cancel that. So three versus four, uh, four, five, six, seven. So we progress by four. That's okay. We don't need to rush here. No enemies and we can't travel anywhere. So we'll just uh, ready. Go to the refresh phase straight away. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources and draw a card. Another Elrond's Council. So again, I'm discarding the Elven Light. Gain a resource. I'll play the Elven Light from my discard. We get Unexpected Courage. And uh, I might as well play it on to Arwen. Okay, I'll play it onto Arwen. We'll go questing. So we are questing with Aragorn, Arwen, and uh, Glorofindel. So we are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten against two. Encounter card is. The same as before, so driven by shadow. So this is a tree. So we quest by uh, seven. So well, let's see, three goes here, four goes here, plus six from here. So we have 10 progress here. And this goes into the victory display. I think we want to travel here. So we reveal a card from the encounter deck and it's not an enemy, so we don't get an enemy. And that is the turn done. We go to the refresh phase and we'll add one threat to the dial and ready everything. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we add resources, draw a card. Gandalf, great. Uh, next round we'll be able to play Gandalf, then we're ready to just blow through everything. Uh, actually this round we can do that, so we'll discard Elven Light. Um, I'm actually keeping it in hand. Using the Silver Harp we gain one resource. We will uh, raise our threat by one to gain one resource from the Magic Ring. And we'll just play Gandalf. And now we are ready to just do immense uh, questing. So we need to do five to pass this. So we'll go with Gandalf and Aragorn. That is plenty. That is a total of eight versus zero. We get a Goblin Sniper, which is two. So that is not enough. So we'll uh, Yeah, that is done. I, I forgot to discard a card from the top of my deck. And uh, yeah. We would have actually discarded Gandalf, but I'm not going backseat on that. So let's just keep it like this. Okay, and uh, we will engage this Okay, uh, first we'll advance this. And we have a Goblin Trail in the victory display, so we are uh, 
permitted to advance. The rear guard, when revealed, the first player adds the set aside coprint through to the staging area. Each other player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a goblin and uh, adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. Uh, we need six progress, and the goblins are aware of your pursuit and form a rear guard to confront you while you. The others retreat to their secret hideaway. You must defeat this troop before you can continue your chase. Uh, this stage cannot be defeated while goblin troop is in play. When this stage is defeated, the heroes discover the trail to the goblin secret lair and the players win the game. So uh, we are definitely going to engage the goblin troop and just kill it. So let's see. I'll take this questing tokens away. So we are engaging this. This just shoots us. So force if the goblin sniper is in the staging area at the end of the combat phase. Each player deals one damage to a character they control. So that happens in the combat phase. So we are engaging this and uh, it has a attack of five. And uh, we'll defend with Aragorn. Uh, 5 versus 2, Shadow FX is attacking enemy makes an additional attack immediately after this one. That is annoying. So we will see, we need 9 to defeat, so we have that. If we can just defend twice with Aragorn, that's okay. So we'll discard the Forest Nair and Two copies of the Eleven Light, so we don't take any damage. We'll use Unexpected Courage to defend again. And no Shadow Effect, so we'll discard these two. And Aragorn takes one damage. Then we will attack with Glorfindel, Gandalf and Arwen, which is... Uh, Actually, it's one short. Yeah, it's one short. Nothing we can do. We'll have to try to defeat it next round. Okay. And that is the combat phase done. This guy deals one damage to somewhere. I'll put it on Arwen. And we raise our threat by 3, because Gandalf is in play now. And uh, then we will uh, ready everything. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We'll draw a card. And I will play Elven Light from my discard. We draw another card. These are just for the Protector of Lorien. And uh, I'll play a second Elven. I'll discard a card, but I'll use the Silver Harp and I'll play a second Elven Light from my discard to draw another card. Okay. So the Elf Stones came in a bit late, but it's okay. We'll go to... We only have five uh, characters, so we still have a boost to Aragorn's willpower. So we're questing with Aragorn and uh, Gandalf. We don't need to quest with anything else. We are... Uh, uh, we are eight against two. Encounter card is Spiders of Mirkwood. So that, that is a bit of a hindrance to us. But it, it's okay. Uh, we still are able to quest successfully. Mm, now that I think of it, I could have won on this round. Let's see if we, we still can. We have five here, eight here, and we need six here. So we are, uh, we can boost Aragorn's willpower with the Protector of Lorien by 3. So we get 6 progress on here. 
So now we only need to defeat the goblin troop. But this enemy engages us, so while it is engaged with you, Spiders of Merkward gets plus one uh, combat for each exhausted character you control. So we at the moment have zero exhausted characters. So we deal shadow cards. We'll resolve this one as undefended. Nothing, so we take two damage. I'll take it on Aragorn. We will exhaust the ring and uh, he, uh, raise our threat by one to heal one of those damages. This enemy attacks. Uh, we will uh, take it with Aragorn. Shadow effect is choose and exhaust one character you control. If this attack was undefended, also deal to that, uh, deal that character two damage. So we'll exhaust Glorfindel. Or we'll just exhaust Arwen actually. And we'll discard these two. So Aragorn only takes. Okay, let's do this the cool way. So we'll exhaust uh, Glorfindel. We'll uh, discard only one card, then we'll discard one card to ready Glorfindel. And uh, we will. Let's see, can we kill both of these enemies? So uh, these are six, which is enough for this. So we'll do that. So we'll use the unexpected courage to ready Aragorn. Uh, we'll kill off the spider. Then we will use Gandalf and Arwen to kill off the goblin troop. And at the end of the combat phase uh, we'll deal one damage to Gandalf. And uh, we have six progress here, so we complete the quest. And that is the Strider deck. And it worked really well again. Uh, it's really consistent. You just need to get the Strider into play fast and after that it basically plays itself. Of course, if you don't hit the 11 light, your draw will be a bit uh, slow at the start. But once you get that engine going, it will really ramp up fast. But yeah, that was the Strider deck and insp inspired by uh, Metastrophic and we beat the uh, old quest with it pretty easily without much uh, strain on us. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.